You build up an amazing reputation for yourself. Zach Khan, James Llewellyn, Flex Lewis. Every time you've worked with an athlete in the UK, they've won the British. Are you working with anyone this year? Yeah, I've got a number of athletes uh, this year. Um, I'm working with Daz Ball for the first time. And I am quite quite um, excited about Daz, to be honest with you. And the reason I say that is because we've probably been working together for about six weeks now, and his body has changed a lot more than what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I was a little bit sceptical whether I should take Daz on, on board. Not because, not for personal reasons, it's because Daz has got to be probably the the un uncrowned professional, you know, to be honest with you, within the uh, you know the UK BFS, simply because he's always in shape, he's so devoted and dedicated, he wants that pro card, he wants to be successful, you know, and I'd love to see Daz get his pro card, you know, for those reasons. The opposite side of the coin is that uh, Daz's structure has held him back from moving forward in a sense. But within that six weeks that we've done a few things completely different what he's done in the past and his body's really responded from that. Now I'm not going to say for you for one minute he's going to go to the British Championships this year and win the British Championships. What I am going to say I think it's going to take us probably 18 months to 24 months for us to see the trans transformation that I would like to see in his physique. You know for him, for people to say you know what the hell has this guy been doing you know. So I've got you know I've got Daz, um, I've got Jordan Jones, um, I've got Tom Young, um, Nathan uh, Lesiak's with me. Um, there's, a, there's probably about eight, you know, top-end amateurs in this country, of course, and obviously, I think at the moment the most exciting thing what's going on for me is the new the, the amateurs I've got going on in the states. I've got some some big hopes with some of those guys over there. Yeah, You're so. really branching out then. Yeah, I mean, I just as I say, I think I'm, I'm just very fortunate and I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and I think that probably comes down to the fact that I'm personal with my clients. You know, as I say, I don't I don't do it because it's the money aspect of things. Because sometimes you're working more like a shrink than a nutritionist. You know, and I spend so much of my time training with my athletes. I don't just tell them what to do. I'll actually train with them. You know, I put I put them through the paces. You know, they've got to keep up with me. And you know, sometimes I'm probably 20 years older than most of these guys. You know? It's those crucial last final weeks for our bodybuilders as well when they're about to compete, isn't it? Those are crucial, yeah. That's the most important time. I, you know, I'm lucky that, you know, with my American pros that I'm prepping, is that um, I do spend a lot of time in Amer America, you know, for a number of reasons. One, one because obviously I work for Gaspari Nutrition and obviously I'm with MD, so obviously they need me there over there with them. Um, and also the fact that, um, you know, I've got my own sort of private professionals which I'm prepping who are obviously outside of the company that I work for, for instance. Yeah. But, um, I've, as I said, I've got some really great amateurs over there, so I spend a lot of time with my amateurs over there. And I can do 90% of my work through email, IM, and phone calls. I mean, when I prepped um, Hide uh, Hidetari Yamagishi for the New York Pro, you know, he came in, you know, in phenomenal condition. I was really happy with the, the, the condition and the package that we presented at the show. It was, it was, it was a great success for him. I think it's definitely upped his... Uh, his level of maturity and brought him further up into the pro ranks, even though he's, he's obviously had a pro ring win anyway. Um, but I think that I can still do those things through the internet. I need pictures, you know. I think when you work that closely with somebody and you treat them as individuals, you know, I build up such big profiles of my clients and everything is tailored for them. I never copycat one thing and give it to another one. Everything is completely go back to scratch, let's start from the basics and then I'll start designing something around them. So, and I think that's a lot of, that's one thing that probably 99% of the people don't do. They'll just mimic, you know, I mean, my philosophy is towards training and diet. You'd be surprised how many so-called so experts and nutritionists in this country now are mimicking and copying what I do. Yeah. The difference being is, is that, one, they haven't got that personal approach to what I'm doing, and two, is that they don't really know the ins and outs of what I do with my athletes as well. So, you know, they can imit what, you know, imit, uh, copy what I do, but whether it's going to equate to the same sort of kind of success or, or uh, condition on stage, we'll have to wait and see. So how do you manage to balance all of this with your family life? It's hard. <laughs> I got a beautiful wife and I got two beautiful children. And to be honest with you, they're the number one priority in my life. I've always had balance. It, it's no, there's no point having being successful in life if one you haven't got something spe or somebody special to share it with. Yeah. You know, I think I've got the, the the best of both worlds. I mean, it's a beautiful weekend and this is great venue. I enjoy meeting people. You know, I'm very much a people's person. But I can't wait to go home and see my wife and kids as well. For somebody who maybe sees their kids 24/7 and their wives, 
every day just seems the same. For me, it just feels like when I go home, you sort of fall in love with your family again. And that, for me, that's a great feeling. But it is hard sometimes to juggle things around. OK, thank you for the interview, Neil. It was very good seeing you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm Aaron Hallett, reporter for muscletalk.co.uk.